Lonnie Quinn is here uh, looking at our Tuesday where we've had a little bit of everything so far, but mostly the cloudy stuff. Yeah, didn't get the heat. No, not at all. <laughs> we had temperatures capped out in the basically the lower 70s, lower to mid 70s around the area. Look at that low ceiling of clouds out there looking over the, you know, the skyscrapers here in New York City. You can barely see into New Jersey. Uh, it's right now 73 degrees. Your high temp today was 74. Uh, so it has been on the cool side because those clouds never broke up. You never saw any sun. What you can expect for the next 24 hours and beyond is those clouds will finally break up. It's clearing right now. It's in the process of getting started for most people out there. Maybe not everybody. We're still watching north and west. One little band of wet weather is still out there. I think a 90 degree reading is possible for your day tomorrow. The lower humidity is going to be appreciated when you get like a high temperature, say 87, 88, maybe 90. But lower humidity makes it feel better. Oceans are getting stirred up, I'll tell you. And that's all because of Hurricane Gert. We have a high risk for rip currents along the south shore of Long Island, all the way towards the uh, Shoreline's Brooklyn, and then a moderate risk along the Jersey Shore. And that's not just for today. I think it's going to be issued again for Wednesday, for Thursday as well. Gert right now has got 80 mile per hour winds. It's a Cat 1, could get very close to a Cat 2, but it's never going to make landfall. So anywhere from Rhode Island to South Carolina, high surf is going to be an issue. Stronger rip currents, also a problem. Rough, choppy seas. If you take a look at where Gert's going to be going, uh, just like this. It's going to thread the needle between uh, the North Carolina shoreline and Bermuda, staying out to sea the entire time. Forecast gets some winds up to 90 miles per hour. Now, here's a couple of you know, batches of clouds. There's no name, there's no number. They're the Cape Verde Islands. Okay, so Africa is right uh, just off your TV screen. Two areas here that are very likely to develop. Uh, if so, we'll keep an eye on it for you. I look at the long range progressions here, and these could have a little bit more to say about uh, the U.S. coastline. I'll keep an eye on everything. Wouldn't be until next week. We have a few little light showers in the area. Right now, we are watching this one line from Binghamton over towards Albany. Could be clipping the areas uh, north and west of the city. Sullivan, Ulster, Dutchess County. It looks right now, when I time this out, it would be like maybe say 830 around Kingston. I don't think it's going to drop further south, like towards the metro areas, but north and west, you can see a little bit of rain. And that could be a little fast, too. I saw some models that say it would be more like 1030 or even 11. Look at that. But a lot of it's going to dissipate. Some holds together. So north and west, a chance for some rain to finish out your day tonight. Then you go into your day tomorrow. It's a good looking one. Thursday now, new information to share looks better. Late clouds thir Thursday, but that late rain chance Thursday now looks like an early Friday rain chance. And then some of that rain could linger into Friday during the day and even a chance for some of it to be with you uh, for the start of your day on Saturday. So you're 89 tomorrow. It's a hot one, but not so humid. 83 on Thursday, looking pretty good. Friday, 85. There's that storm risk I was just showing you. Could linger into Saturday at 87. But I think right now it's looking like it wants to get out of here later in the day on Saturday. We'll keep our fingers crossed on that. That is the indication that the, uh, the data is showing me. And then Sunday looks like a really good day. 87 Saturday, maybe 83, 84 on Sunday. Thank you. you.